A police chase ending with a deadly crash in Panorama City. That's right, Desmond Shaw is overhead. Lori Perez, live on the ground. Lori, what can you tell us? Well, you know, this is exactly what people worry about when they see these pursuits, the collateral damage. We're being kept about 400 feet away from the scene, which is, I'll mention, about right across the street from Kaiser Permanente Medical Center. And I want to get right to video from Sky Cal overhead. It didn't take long for tonight's chase to come to a deadly end. Not surprising when you look at the two vehicles just wrecked and just crushed. The black truck was the one with the driver running from police. And as he led them on a pursuit, he slammed into the silver Honda Civic, witnesses say, with two men inside who were in no way involved. LAPD says at least one of them was killed. This started, police say, just before 8 p.m. with reports of that truck being stolen just a few miles from here. And within just 15 minutes, the suspect had crashed into the silver Honda here at Lanark Street and Woodman Avenue. We spoke with a man who was in a nearby smoke shop as it all went down. He was still pretty shaken up by what he saw when he says he came running to to try and help. I heard a big bang and I ran over to see if I could help the people and you know it just looked like it was already too late and I saw the gentleman jump out of the Tacoma and run that way and at the end they caught him right here and the whole time we're right here at the smoke shop and it was a really loud bang and I did see LAPD was chasing him and you know, I think that's why the guy was take, driving so fast and he passed the red light and collided with these innocent people. It was really, it's something that I'm still playing back in my head. You know, as people, you know, now they're deceased, you know, it's, it's kind of not what anyone wants to see. And again, that witness told us that he saw the suspect try to run after the crash, but police were able to reach him. And another person who was reportedly in that stolen truck, uh, that driver is now in custody. In Panorama City, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. All right, Lori, thank you so much. Let's go upstairs now to our Desmond Shaw, who's live over the scene in SkyCal. Desmond. Well, Susie, you can see uh, LAPD now is really just kind of in the middle of their investigation. You see the massive debris field left from the horrific crash between the uh, two vehicles uh, right here. And because someone was killed uh, in this crash, it's really going to make this a pretty long investigation. As I widen out, you see all of the cleanup they have to do. There's still lots of measurements to take as well. And uh, this intersection, I would imagine, will be shut down for several hours. LAPD will be having a news conference to give us some more uh, information on this. may be happening in moments, and when it does, we will bring you that information live at sky caliber head i'm desmond shaw back to you now in the studio okay des thank you so much and just to underscore that when that lapd news conference occurs we will bring that to you here live on kcal news